right. All right, hi all, how are we doing? Thank you for spending this Sunday with me. I hope you guys are having a relaxing Sunday. Let's see who we have on. We'll wait a little bit for um, some more people to join, but Emily Smith, Sandstab, I'm sorry if I'm saying that wrong. Hi Ellie, hi Kathy, hi Bee Geeky, hi Riley family. Jennifer, hello, hello, hello. Thank you guys for spending some of your Sunday with me. I much appreciate it. Hi Amanda. Hi Nana. I think it's, is it Joanne from New Zealand? Hello, hello. <clears throat> Hi, CS. Hi, Stephanie. Emily, hello. Thank you guys for coming in today. I don't know how long I'm going to be on here today because I have a lot that I need to get done because I was lazy this weekend, but I definitely wanted to be on here for just a little bit. Hi, Naomi. Hi, Southern Nanky. April, Sherry, Linus Lux, Bookers, Ada or Otto. So sorry if I say that wrong. Hi Paige, hi Marie, hi Dustin, hi. Hi guys, hope you guys are doing well. So, I just want to start off this live by apologizing for not answering your guys' comments over the last couple of videos. Kind of took a break. It's been getting a lot more, a lot more overwhelming, but just know for those of you who wished me happy birthday, thank you so much. I really, really appreciated it. I tried to go through as many of my Instagram DMs as I could, but it's a lot, which I am so grateful for, but thank you so much. I saw it, even if I didn't say anything back. So yeah, I've definitely taken, I've definitely taken a break from comments recently, just because they take so much time. <laughs> they do, which I am grateful that that is a problem that I have, but I've been putting a lot of time um, into teaching, so. I've been trying to kind of give a little bit more balance and attention where attention is important kind of thing. So yeah, for my birthday, I didn't do anything really exciting. I went and I got bubble tea and then I ate sushi for dinner. I went and ordered or carried out some sushi and yes. So hi guys, just coming in. So today's main plan, um, just kind of the palette that we're going to be using and featuring this um, live is going to be the Sigma Corderosa palette. I've been hemming and hawing for this palette for a very, very long time, but I knew it wasn't something that I wanted to spend with my own money because I already have these colors. It isn't that special. So I got it for my birthday. So I'm so excited to try it on. Um, let's see. My favorite bubble tea flavor, I normally just get like the black tea, uh, just like the typical kind of classic bubble tea. But sometimes like if I want more of a desserty bubble tea flavor, I'll get a Thai tea. That one's really good or Tato's very, very good. Um, let's see, one second. So, hi guys joining in. So, let's get started. So, for those of you who don't know what bubble tea is, it's basically like a tea with, um, usually a milk-based tea with some tapioca pearls. So, there are those are those black balls that you see at the bottom. Um, but it's so good. But the pearls are a bit shocking to some people, so... So really quickly, I'm just throwing on some of the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation. It's the dewy version. I don't really like this, to be honest, but sometimes it's just so easy to grab for and apply. Taro mix tea, heck yeah, that is so good. Um, I'm not into like the sweetie, the sweet fruity ones my boyfriend is into them but I got him into the milk ones because the milk ones are where it's at 
Yeah, some places do cook the pearls differently. I like Kung Fu tea, <laughs> kind of like a generic one, but they always hit it good with their pearls, for sure. We don't have a Kung Fu tea near where I live. It's just kind of like a local place. It's not as good as Kung Fu tea, but I do like it. But yeah, if you are if you want to make some at home, we've been making some from home. Um, you can just order everything you need from Amazon. Uh, you can buy the tapioca pearls, the milk tea base, all of that. Okay, let me get my eyebrow stuff up here. So if you have the Corderosa palette, do you like it? What are your thoughts on it? Oh, I am loving the milk tea conversation that we have going on. Bubble tea is awesome and I know some of you probably miss it so much if your restaurants are still closed. But my milk tea place is in a grocery store so they're still open and I've only now that I'm trying to eat healthier since it is so sugary I'm not going but I did go for my birthday it was a special occasion but yeah can't drink it like I used to but I'm trying to slow down on the sugar intake um, let's see And by the way, I'm using the ColourPop Brow Boss Pencil. It's really cheap, really, really good. Yeah, it is really, really pretty. What is your favorite purchase this past month? Honestly, a lot of good things came out this last month where I purchased a lot of good things. My favorites video this month is going to be packed with some really nice items. I have been write, I write down the items as I go if they're going to be a favorite or not. I've had a lot. I love the Dior collection that came out, which I'm surprised at how much I love it. I knew I loved the Dior items, but something about the collection is really special to me. Um, I've been wearing the Wayne Goss colors every day, so I have some specific favorite colors and combinations. Um, Believe it or not, like I've purchased a lot, I've spent a lot of money this month, but I haven't gotten a variety of things because I haven't been purchasing things just for fun, you know? I've been purchasing things for my channel, but that's about it. Okay, and quickly, I'm gonna throw on a random concealer just so that we look okay. And then we'll just use this powder. Sorry if I'm missing your comments, guys. I'm just... Keep commenting and I'll probably answer, especially once I'm done with the makeup portion. Um, save it for when I'm not actually doing makeup and not looking and then I'll totally answer your questions towards the latter half of the live. You bought Midnight Sun and planning on getting Divine Rose 2. Oh my gosh, you guys, I cannot wait for Divine Rose 2. It looks so pretty. I'm worried it's going to sell out too fast and I'm going to miss out. I always get really nervous about that. Um, I'm going to, so I just use the Benefit Boing Cakeless Concealer. And now I'm using the ColourPop No Filter Setting Powder. Yeah, I'm so excited for the new Natasha palette. It is, not that they don't catch my eye most of the time, because obviously they do catch my eye. But there really, I feel like, is something special about this one that I'm really excited about. I think it's the pink packaging because y'all know how I feel about packaging. But something about the colors in this one, I'm really excited about. Oh my gosh, I'm really worried about how the website's gonna go because this seems to be a really big release. 
So I hope that everything turns out okay with that one. Esom versus Refer brushes. They're different brushes, I would say. Both are very sturdy brushes. Like I prefer Esom brushes for makeup artistry because I feel like they're a little bit more robust. But as far as a consumer, if you're just using them for yourself, I think that Refer is a little bit more consumer friendly, just better for yourself. But I really do, I have some really good Esom brushes though that I think are awesome, but it's definitely a lot more variety in the Esom brushes. Uh, lots of different shapes, different types of hairs. Like right now I'm using the Esom W25 and I just love this for applying cream products. And Refer doesn't have a brush that I like using like this one. Okay. Took me a little bit, but now we are ready to dig into the palette. So yes, the new Pat McGrath is launching on Sephora on June 15th. One of you guys let me know about that. And I'm not sure about the date for Pat McGrath, the exact date. We just know June, but it will be available on Sephora June 15th. I don't know if it's gonna be earlier on one or the other, but. I think she teased it a little bit too early though because I feel very, very eager for sure. Okay, so let's dig in. Here is the Corderosa palette, which by the way, so cute, you guys. The packaging, I really, really love it. And so should I do two different looks on two different eyes or should I just do one look? I really, the OCD in me hates having two different eyes because I feel like I look crazy. <laughs> I just like the whole aesthetic look of having one eye, but I think maybe for this purpose, that too might be better. So, as long as you guys don't mind. So we're gonna start off with Apricot. We'll do this eye. I've actually never tried the Sigma shadows before. I like the palettes, um, like the face palettes. But I've never tried one of their palettes before. Then we're going to take Hybrid, which is more of a pinky color. And I'm going to blend this out here. Probably should have put the pink before the orange, but that's okay. Here, let me get a little bit closer so you guys can see better. And then, let's see. I'm gonna use Summer Song, which is a little bit deeper. And then I'm gonna put this to the outs. Oh, this is a lot more orange than I thought. But by the way, it's blending out really, really well. BRBM hungry. <laughs> I ate right before I started. Forgot to post it on Instagram though. I usually post my meals on Instagram to hold me accountable. I don't know if you guys have been following that because I know none of you care, but <laughs> I've been posting my meals on Instagram because it just holds me accountable. Okay. So very, very warm, but by the way, I've just been like enjoying the process of applying. I haven't been talking about it, but so far the mats are blending very, very, very smooth. Okay, and then, so this eye is gonna be warm and I think we're gonna play with pink shades here. Uh, so let's play around with these shimmers, see what we think of them. So I'm gonna use some of Sun Sprite, which is this gorgeous golden shade. Oh my gosh, we'll see how it applies. Okay, so this is kind of like a lid topper kind of consistency. 
Sure, Vanessa, you can be a moderator. I don't, there we go. I've never had a moderator before, but one of my students thinks it's funny to say inappropriate things. So that's an issue I have to handle off camera, unfortunately. But anyways, really pretty golden shade, kind of like glittery. Really, really like it. Not much of a pigmented base to it. I say that a lot, but it doesn't mean it's a bad thing, but sometimes it's better to put a matte shade underneath. And then I'm gonna use this brush to kind of blend away the excess. There we go. How pretty is that? You guys, I'm liking this. I will say the matte's kind of blended into one color. How would you compare this quality to the Vizzy Art Warm Edit? It's been a while since I've used that palette, but I would say these are a little bit less, not necessarily stain-like, they don't stain the eyes, but I feel like when you put a color down for Vizzy Art, they kind of stay, they blend, but the pigmentation stays there. This one, you have to keep rebuilding the pigmentation, which is not a bad thing. I don't want that to sound like it is. So we're gonna take the shade Corderosa right here. And we're gonna put that here. Ooh, this is a gorgeous shade. I love the Corderosa blush from Sigma. So that's kind of why I wanted it like that. There we go. Thank you, Vanessa. All right, and then now we're gonna take Damask right here, which is really pretty pinky color. I really like how this also has pinky kind of colors. Like, I like how there's warm colors, but you can also get a really pink look as well. It's like warm pink colors, but I really like that. How nice, I like that. These shades also, you get a lot of fallout for them from them, so just be careful. <laughs> yeah, I didn't wanna ruin the flower. The embossment of that was so pretty. I wish it was on more than just the one shade. Oh, I'm liking this pink look. It looks so good. Kathy just asked, when is my school year over? We don't know yet. <laughs> we don't have an actual end date right now. We know that we are not going back for the rest of the year, but we do not know when the actual end date is. And that would be very helpful for me so I can plan my lessons, but nobody knows what's going on right now, which can you blame them? All right, now we're gonna take Dark Knight right here. Yeah, um, Megan said, I don't even know what I want to do for school anymore. I had makeup classes and did my exam via Zoom. I mean, the schools don't know what to do either. You know, everybody's in the same boat. It's frustrating for everybody, and I think everybody's just trying to make the best of the situation. This is not normal circumstances. You can't expect the level of education and things that you're getting out of it to be as good as live and in person. And it is what it is. It's just about making the best of the situation and doing the best that you can. Where did you see Natasha Denona's new palette? Did I miss something? Fill me in. Okay, and then we're going to take some of High Society. This one is like a really pretty rosy kind of color. <laughs> yeah, what is this new not the new Natasha Denona palette that I see? Uh, that I speak. Is there a new one? It would make sense. Her palettes kind of come around the same time normally as Pat's palettes. And I'm sure they just want to keep the show rolling. Okay, and then we're gonna finish off, by the way, 
These shimmer shades, Dark Knight and High Society, I was not as impressed with. I really couldn't get too much to show up on my lid. I miss my sweet kindergarten babies. Very hard to be away from them. Oh my gosh, I am sure. I even miss my students. <laughs> They're not as sweet. They're middle school, but I, I miss them. They make me laugh. Okay, so that one's very glittery and pretty. So, kind of general thoughts about this palette is that the mattes are really, really nice. They do take a little bit of building because they can overblend. And yes, there is a thing such as overblending and these overblend. And then I don't really care for the shimmers. Some of them are a little bit lackluster. I think they need some time or some water to make everything have a bigger pop. But overall, I'm liking this palette. I need to play with it some more, but I am a fan. For sure. I really like the two different looks that I was able to come up with. And I like the tones in this palette. And I think it is very, very nice. So let me put on some mascara. We're not going for a crazy look today. Middle schoolers, I salute you. We have our we each have our challenges. Haha. <laughs> um Yeah, it's definitely hard teaching online. This was my first year teaching too, so. What a first year to teach, right? Do you give your students tests? No, I'm definitely like, my school has been very, or my school system is very supportive of everybody. They kind of provide a lot of assistance to us and they don't have like, they don't expect us to be able to give instruction like we could before. And we're definitely, we have to keep these kids just alive. I just want them to be safe and healthy and enrich them as much as possible, but I don't want this time to destroy anybody's grades given, you know, needs are not being met. Instructional needs are not being met. And I'm just giving them work and I'm helping them in any way that they ask and I'm doing what I can and I've try to lay it out as easy as possible for them to understand and keeping that line of communication open so kudos to the parents as well who are helping their kids because that also is a task in itself um when i'm done with this i'll start reading the comments and answering you guys more I just really wanted to play with this palette. Okay, and then let's quickly do some lips. Um, I'm just gonna pull out the lip that I was wearing in the video I just filmed before this because it's already on my desk. Um, so we're using the Wangas Natural Berry Lip Pencil. Hold all the juicy comments and questions for like two more minutes and then I can really chit chat like you guys. I just try and get through what I'd say I'm going to get through in the beginning for those who aren't watching lives and really want to see what I think of the palette. This is Daisy from Wayne Goss and ooh, I just dropped it and I don't know where it went. Why am I so clumsy? Okay, and then the last one is the gloss in hibiscus. Okay. So obviously I'm not going to do liner and lashes and all that because I'm going to work out after this and I don't want to have everything so hard to take off. But like I said, final thoughts on the Sigma Corderosa palette. It is really beautiful, very user-friendly, very easy to use. 
Some shades of the shimmers are better than others, but I do enjoy the color story of this a lot. I want to play with this some more, see how I can get the most out of this palette. And that's that. That's the important part of this. So let's chat. I've made it to the first 25 minutes. Okay, so let's see what we're talking about here. I have to pull my laptop up. I'm thinking about getting a webcam, and I hope that creates better quality than what I have. Not that it's bad through my iPhone, but for tutorials and stuff, I really want it to be clear and visible. Okay, so uh, we're talking about good old Jeffree Star, I see, the new palette. Um... Megan says the new Jeffrey palette doesn't appeal to me. I find the theme of the whole cremation thing to be dark and edgy, especially during a pandemic. I mean, I can see people taking that the wrong way. The way personally that I feel is like, I believe that this was done way in advance. Maybe not the best time to release it, of course, uh, but we don't know what goes behind marketing and all of that. And he's done way worse things this is nothing um as far as if i'm not if i'm going to release it or review it or not i've decided not to review it because i just don't feel like dealing with all the hate i would get if i would review it um like i've already the i haven't even reviewed it yet and i already have comments telling me i'm gonna and this is not true but the people of Jeffrey Land are crazy. And I have people already telling me that I'm going to lose my job if I review his products. And I'm just, I can't deal with it. It's too much. It's really too much, honestly. Like, I'm not here for drama on my channel at all. I reviewed the products because I had people ask me. I understand there are very, this end or this end of whether or not you, um, like him or not i get he's a controversial person i liked his makeup uh but i'm like coming to the end of it as far as the crazies i get on my channel like that's just not what my channel's about you know literally people are so crazy and are so passionate about their hate that they're like you what's wrong with you you're a teacher you're going to lose your job and i'm like <laughs> First of all, that's not true. <laughs> I will not lose my job over that, but it's just not something. When people talk about my job and stuff, I don't want to say I get sensitive about it, but that's like, like, don't mess around and say stuff like that. Like, that's my job. That's how I make money. That's how I make a living. It's not funny to make comments like that. I'm not going to lose my job from that. But anyways, people on the internet think they can know everything. So, we'll not be reviewing it. Not only that, but... <laughs> yeah, I really do feel like it is people crossing the line. If that's if that were the case and that was a poor decision that I made and I lost my job from it, then that's on me, but that's not on anybody else. Um, anyways, I, I get it if you don't like him and that's completely understandable and fine, but... Everybody just needs to respect everybody, so I don't know. Anyways, just don't feel like dealing with it, so I'm not reviewing it because there's some, as you can see, it's very frustrating for me because I'm not a drama-based channel. I don't talk about drama. I don't acknowledge drama, but people are wild. And when you bring my job into it, that's really crossing the line because these people... I'm going a little bit ranty, but I need to tell you guys something. The people, as far as Jeffree Star, they're crazy either end of the spectrum. I, they hate him so much, it's unimaginable. They love him so much. If you say anything bad, they're crazy. Um, I'm scared of people like contacting my job. And like those types of people would are the type of people that would contact my job and trying to get me in trouble, which is ridiculous. So I have this fear if I review that product, those crazies are going to go and like find me and contact my job. And that's just, it's an eyeshadow palette. 
I get it, he's not the greatest person, but it's an eyeshadow palette. I have a review channel. I have a large amount of people asking me to review it. Like, YouTube is my hobby. Uh, it makes me happy and my job and my hobby should not intermingle. And it upsets me that people wanna play that card. So, anyways. There's a lot of bad people out there in the world. I don't know why we feel the need to focus on. Anyways. Um. I mean, I haven't had anybody call my job yet. Don't get me wrong, but like pretty much I've had people like threaten that <laughs> and like threaten my job and say I'm going to lose my job. And it's just people on the internet. Like, I'm a good non-controversial channel, so I would be lying if I said that didn't get to me because it does really upset me when I see that because that's, like, my livelihood, you know? You don't play with people's livelihood like that, especially if I'm doing something rather unharmful. Um, people confuse me. There's different ways to deal with things. It's just a person... <sighs> okay, I need to stop talking about that. As far as what I think about how the palette and how the palette looks, uh, I like it. I think that there's way too many colors in it and it would have looked a lot better or been a lot more useful if it was like 10 pans, you know? It's not marketed towards everybody, unfortunately, but it's hard to make a palette that is marketed towards everybody. And I do think that his palette does fill a void in the industry where there is a lack of palettes of that type because there are people who love those really cool tone gray palettes and you have to admit there aren't many palettes like that. And of course, a lot of people are going to get, get upset because it's not an inclusive color story, but I do think... Um, it's a color story that's not really met by the industry. So I think it's cool that that's coming out. I don't think it needed to come out in that huge palette. Uh, I think it would have sufficed with just 10 shades or so because you're gonna get a lot of similar colors on the skin tone, especially if you're more medium to deep, it's gonna pull a little bit more ashy and then all of that stuff. Um, so I think it's a unique palette. I think it's pretty. You guys know I really like cool toned. I'm not afraid of the gray colors at all. I'm going to pass on it this time because something's going on where people are acting crazier than ever. Even before I even purchased the palette. So I'm going to pass on this one, unfortunately. Or fortunately, <laughs> I don't know. Just to save me some sanity. Um... Yeah, I definitely think it will look uh, ashy on deeper skin tones. Um, I did not get those Busy Art Lip Shines in PR. Uh, he said it would work on any skin tone. Every brand owner says every palette's going to work on it. every skin tone. You can't trust any of them. <laughs> it is what it is. It's all about the business. Um... Yeah, the color scheme is beautiful in the first two rows. That's those. The way he was going to do this palette well is if he played with textures and dimensions and different finishes. I think he would have been better off adding more of those finishes like lid toppers, glitters, uh, shimmery, just playing with the dimension of that and to really change up the eyelid. I think he put too many mattes in, to be honest. Uh, that Those bottom two rows are kind of the same um yeah i mean color pop smoke show if you have that you're good to go um do i have that one i do actually somewhere so if you don't want to support jeffrey which is fine or you're looking for a more affordable alternative or you don't want that big of a palette, but you kind of want to expand the color story. The ColourPop Smoke Show is going to do you really good. And it's affordable. The quality is good. I don't grab for it that much just because I don't use colors like this very often. And I have a billion and one eyeshadow palettes, but this is 
the way to go. Yes, it is a problem because I couldn't even remember if I had it. The thing with ColourPop is their stuff is so cheap that when I order from the website, I'll get a billion things just at once, things that I missed out on, that release that I didn't pick up right away. And then I put them in my collection and I don't use them. So top, my ColourPop, even though I love them, they get pushed down to the bottom because I have a lot pricier palettes that need love. Um, hi Daphne, you're not late, you're fine. Um, yeah, Nude Dip is a pretty cool toned palette for every day. Um, it's not like grays and blacks and gunmetals like we have here, but if you like cool toned neutrals, like shimmery kind of colors, has ColourPop started working yet? Do you, guys, do you guys remember when I was so pumped for the Mulan collection? I ordered it. I secured it. Two months later, still waiting on it. There was no rush at all. Hi, Stacey. Thank you so much. I wasn't a fan of Double Indemnity from Tom Ford. Similar color story, but I just felt like that formula was so different from his normal formula. Okay, so ColourPop is online, but everything's out of stock. I thought they started shipping things. Oh, your Sandy's Mulan order just shipped. I need to check my email because I've been waiting a long time. If I pay it expedited, because sometimes I'll pay for expedited shipping if I'm just impatient, they better give me that back. Um, yes, and I'm still waiting on the Sailor Moon blushes. Though, you know what? Months later, I don't have as much of a deep desire for them. <laughs> of course, it's been months. But I still never got those Sailor Moon blushes. Um, you heard he just continued a bunch of quads. Well, I hope it's none that I like. So Paige, right now I'm working on a Charlotte Tilbury ranking video and rankings take me a long time because I try and try every palette out and I always have some type of makeup to try, but I do plan on doing an updated one eventually, but I don't want to give you a time frame on that and promise something. Um, still waiting for your Sephora order. I will say, just given everything in the world, I paid for about all of my orders for expedited from Sephora, worth every penny. I got them right on time. Um, Jennifer, no, you are too sweet. I'm gonna spend my own money on it, don't worry, but thank you so much. Um, I can't believe you guys still haven't got your Sephora orders. I got, I ordered the Norvina palette with Expedited. I literally got it next day. Like, they need to put their priorities straight. But dang, the Expedited worked. <laughs> I would contact Sephora if your order hasn't been processed yet. That's ridiculous. Um, bye, Sandy. Have fun. Thank you for coming and joining. Oh my gosh. I mean... You don't want to be annoying because of what's going on in the world and complaining about Sephora orders because you ain't going anywhere anyways. But I would not be happy, especially, you know, with my YouTube channel. I would not be happy. <laughs> um, yeah, I got lucky because even I ordered some without expedited and I got them within the week or two. So... Don't know what that's about. Yeah, rule of thumb. This is what I do. And I don't recommend this for the average person because <laughs> not everybody has a YouTube channel and it's not necessary. But if you really want to get an item, pay for expedited. If it's worth it for you, pay for expedited. If you don't get it in time, in the time frame that it says, just contact them and they'll give you your money back. I don't do that all the time, but like, if you want the item, pay for expedited, and if it doesn't come in the promised time frame, they'll give you a refund, and that's completely okay. Um, 
I will say, Dahlia, I used some shades from my Safari palette today. I still love that palette. I do. Um, so how I clean my Sonia G is I have the, I'm using Apothecary is the brand right now, but, uh, Beauty Blender has the same. I use like a soap cleanser and I just lightly, um, uh, swirl it in a couple times and then I have a Sigma brush pad and then I'll clean the brushes on that. Just stay gentle. Don't go like this. But gently clean it out, massage the soap into the bristles, and rinse it. Um, do you think it'll take extra time to get Divine Rose too? Honestly, just given by the hype and on top of everything that's going on, I'm gonna say yes. Uh, if you guys get the Divine Rose 2 palette and I don't get it, I'm gonna be very angry. <laughs> I'm so excited for you guys. I think it's gonna be a good one. I have a good feeling about it. I really do. Um, let's see. Yes, I'm getting the new Papagroth. It is beautiful. Um, what is your favorite eye primer? I don't have oily eyelids or anything, so I don't really struggle. Like I can just use concealer. But I love my MAC Painterly Paint Pop because I love the blank base it leaves me. And I do believe in Too Faced Shadow Insurance. It's an old classic, but it really does stop your eyeshadow from creasing. Uh, it's oldie but goodie. Classic, classic eye primer. Um, oh yeah, the pink packaging. I'm considering giving my old Divine Rose to my mom and ordering that pink packaging duo because I'm such a packaging queen. Like, I'm really considering it because I really love the pink packaging. It just makes everything notched up so much more special. The Big Bar Zote Soap in pink or white from 99 cents. Good to know. Can't believe Sephora sent any more that they're changing their reward system into something similar to Ulta. I didn't read that email, but Ulta's where it's at. Like, if I was smarter with my purchases, <laughs> I would order anything I can from Ulta because you get such a better reward system. But the two-day shipping is why I keep coming back to Sephora, though that's kind of not a thing right now. Uh, yeah, but that pink packaging, y'all, it really has me feeling some type of way. Like, I will... I need that palette. I need the packaging. Yes, she did a good job with that. And I think there's gonna be some people definitely repurchasing Divine Rose because the packaging is so nice. Good call on her part. Was Divine Rose really that hot? Like, I know Divine Rose is popular, but I thought that they just made it in small quantities. That's what it seemed to me. Or was it just that popular and it was selling out so quickly? I was under the impression that they just made small, small quantities as a marketing kind of thing. But the fact that they're coming out with the Divine Rose 2 leads me to believe, no, it was just that good. It was that popular. Um, yeah. I wish Ulta had some more Luxe brands otherwise so that I can shop there some more. Though I'm trying to, I try to purchase most of my Luxe items if possible from people who work at counters just because you're helping somebody else, somebody out, you know, that's their livelihood. So a lot of times I do try and like make connects with some counter workers so that I can help them a little bit not just Sephora at least it goes to somebody else based on the sales um and a lot of times they got good information too so if you guys can make good connections with your counter people that's a way to help somebody out as well um yeah Ulta needs more luxury brands they do I love that they have drugstore brands, don't get me wrong, like that's awesome as well, but if they had the Lux brands that Sephora had, buy Sephora, you're not needed. <laughs> um, yeah, at Macy's they get a commission. I think mostly at all counters they'll get some sort of benefit bonus 
commission and it doesn't hurt you to help somebody else like it like it's like I post uh, affiliate links and it leaves a bad taste in some people's mouth but it's like if somebody encourages you to buy a product give them the credit for it you know it helps them out it pays for their food and if they're the ones that led, led you that way why not help them out? It's not taking any money out of your pocket and you're helping somebody out. And I feel that way about affiliate links as well. Like, I don't always use my own, like <laughs> I use other people's affiliate links all the time. Like if they led me there, why not? Help somebody out, put some food on the table. Hi Leah, I'm so happy you could join. Um, These earrings I got from Saks Off Fit fifth a long time ago it's from this brand called free press i looked them up online and i can't find their earrings online because i love the free press brand but you can get them on Saks off fifth they have really really cute jewelry i love jewelry so much you guys <laughs> thank you yeah the sephora sponsorship was like one of the coolest things that's happened to me thanks to youtube um yeah, it's really important to support channels, guys. And you don't understand it when you're not on the other side. Because I can speak from being a creator versus being a viewer. Because I was just a viewer for like eight years. Like I started watching YouTube when I was like 12. And um, now that I'm making videos, it's definitely cool to see the other side and what I thought before. But affiliates are important like we spend a lot of money a lot of time on products and it's a balance between not sounding like a money grubber <laughs> like i have no problems buying products with my own money that's fine but understand that if you're going to request products and i can't afford it the way that you can help me review products that you request is through shopping through affiliate links. If I encourage you to purchase the product, you know, it's a way to support the channel, to encourage content or to help with their content. And guys, I am a teacher. <laughs> I don't make a lot of money. I'm very blessed to live at home and um, YouTube has given me so many amazing opportunities but I'm a teacher I don't make a lot of money I invest a lot of money into my channel because I love it and it's fun and it's a hobby and um you know people have their hobbies that they love and cause money this is my hobby that I love and um yeah so the money that I make from YouTube is it goes back to my YouTube like I don't really talk about my finances a lot, but the money I make from teaching goes towards my bills, my real life stuff. And then the money I make from YouTube, I don't really keep for myself. I put it back into my channel and buying products for you guys and testing products and the quality of my videos and all of that. So I bust my butt to be able to create the content and afford the content. So if you do decide to Vanessa, you're awesome. <laughs> if you do decide um, to shop through my affiliate links, I really appreciate it. It helps my content a lot because I put in a lot of work and money into this channel. Hello, hello. Thank you guys. You guys are so sweet. Yeah, I, all of you that do use my affiliate links, greatly appreciate it. And don't even, you don't even have to use mine. Just if you're purchasing items and anybody on YouTube, if they've encouraged you to purchase that product, definitely use their affiliate link because it helps. It really does. It means a lot. Um, Paige, I do work as a makeup artist. I don't, I'm a, I do freelance, but I work under a company so that uh, she kind of deals with booking me so that I don't have to deal with contracts and stuff like that um because I don't have time <laughs> I would absolutely love one day to have my own artistry business my own bridal business but right now as a new teacher 
doing YouTube and makeup stuff, I don't have the time to have my own personal business. But one day in the future, if I ever decide to go part-time with teaching, I would absolutely love to have my own event kind of business. I think that would be really awesome. Um, So my favorite Natasha Denona, honestly, I'm convinced all of these crazies are my students. I don't know. Or they're just crazy people. I'm not, I don't know, Megan. I've never had this much in my, um, in my live. So yeah, virtual teaching is going well, as well as it could, I guess. I wouldn't say it's amazing, but it's going as well. Um, so, sorry, my favorite Natasha Denona mini palette. So, I think, here it is. Hold on. The mini glam palette is just the best. If you like neutral tone neutrals, really, really nice. The mini nude is also really good, but I love the mini glam palette. School is out now. I'm so happy. I'm tired of playing teacher to my kids. I got another month, girl. So definitely recommend mini glam if you like neutrals, if you're looking for something a little bit more unique. I love greens, so the mini gold is fire. And then the mini retro palette is also really really cute if you like those types of tones but this one can pull ashy so just be careful with the mini retro one the mini glam is the only one you don't have it's close to the mini nude so i don't think you need it need it um got the gold mini gold as well that one is really pretty Mini Glam and Mini Nude are really, really good. Highly recommend. Did you guys get the Mini Tropic one? That's the only one I don't have because I have the big one. Are the, is the quality on that one really better than the original? I didn't, I didn't, I liked Mini Star. I didn't think it was that bad. Um, hippie girl, I'm wearing the Sigma Corderosa palette. When I get off of this, if you would like to see me play around with the colors, rewind this live and you'll be able to see what I used and how I did it. Um, I have not jumped into Westman Atelier, unfortunately. It's doesn't really interest me. Should it interest me? Is it something that I should be interested in? You have the mini Tropic, the dark blue, easily hard pan. That's what I hate about some of her shadows is how much they get hard pan sometimes. If that's the kind of formula that she has, I always, I, I don't like that formula of her. She got, she got to quit it with that. <laughs> um, Yeah. Is it worth getting the Natasha Denona Tropic on sale? Honestly, I like that palette. It's not her best work, but I think there are unique colors. The mattes in there are bomb. I love the matte colors. I really like that palette. I think it's worth getting it for 50% off. Uh, the bottom row, like the colors are not the best quality. I will say that, but you can make them work if you want them to work. And the mattes, you can't go wrong. Like those top two rows so buttery smooth delicious highly recommend but yeah that third row will give you a little bit of trouble so if you're willing to put up with that yeah it's worth it i really really like it um so that one versus safari i i i really like safari too <laughs> i like both of them i think they're fine i think safari across the board is a better quality one but the tropic one's a fun one it's really a fun one Hi, Debbie. Hi, Diana. 
Thank you guys for joining. I'm about to get off in like six minutes though, but you can always go back and rewatch this for sure. Um, let's see what else. Yeah, you could definitely make Tropic work. That's the thing. Um, do you have any recommendations on fixing hard pan? There is one technique where one, you can just spoolie the top off, kind of scrape off the top layer, or sometimes it works with tape as well. If you take a piece of just regular tape and press it on, a lot of times it gets that top layer off. I don't think it will work as well for the Natasha Denona. So honestly, just get in there and start digging. Uh, it does waste the shadow, but it sucks to use it with hard pan anyway. So, hi Ashley! Yeah, I'm gonna get off in five minutes, but definitely feel free to rewatch it. Um, this one was a little bit boring. <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, yeah, so I did an organizing video last week if you want to check that out, if you missed it for my channel. I meant to film a declutter video this weekend. I didn't get around to it. I was just, I needed a weekend to not do anything. I filmed it this morning, but... I didn't do anything yesterday. Um, Liv, I personally have not had too many problems with his stuff getting hard pan. Sometimes that can happen if you use the shadows wet a lot, potentially, maybe that's an issue. Um, then again, though, I don't use his palettes religiously either, so that also might be a me thing as well or yeah oil on your fingers something like that but um thus far i haven't had that issue yes i will film the declutter when i do it i just need to do it <laughs> and that's the problem 99 percent of the time i just don't want to do it because it would involve me getting on the floor setting up the stuff and i'm gonna get so much hate on my declutter video because <laughs> i i'm not a good declutterer like, I spend my own money on this stuff. I'm, it's hard for me to throw it away. Um, put a cotton swab and alcohol to fix hard pan to disinfect the shadows as well. Thank you. I did have a very good birthday. <laughs> I can't even declutter when I don't have to film it. <sighs> Amen, sister. Amen. Yeah. I can't declutter. I'm not a ruthless declutter. Maybe I can be when I don't have to pay for my makeup, but your girl works too hard to throw that stuff away. <laughs> yes, I will absolutely be doing a review video. Bye, Paige. Thanks for stopping by. Um, but yeah, like I said, definitely going to do that Divine Rose tool. You better hope I get it though, and I say can secure it. Um, if you missed it, I will leave it up for you to watch the live. Don't worry, guys. I lean more on the hoarder side. Me too. <laughs> Me too, girlfriend. Bye. Thank you. Thank you, Erica. I really appreciate it. Yeah, guys, four o'clock is coming up. So I'm just gonna sign off now because I have to work out and edit a video and not great stuff that's what i have to do i put it in the back of my mind because i didn't want to so thank you guys so much for hanging out with me this sunday i really appreciate it uh make sure you guys tune in next sunday and just hang out with me as well i will see you guys tomorrow tomorrow's video is a collab with hey it's jacqueline so get ready i love that girl so i will see you guys tomorrow bye guys have a good one